Hi everyone. This is a better option. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Helena in Helena's How to Cook European and More. Now today we're making a very very simple tuna fish pasta. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've got water, oil and salt in this uh, pot here. And I've got half a kilo, 500 grams worth of pasta. In this case, it is penne, penne rigate, this one. Okay, so let's pour that inside. Okay, and I've chopped up a large onion, white onion, like this. And we're putting it into a wok that I've got here. And we're going to have this fry out until it's uh, golden. It's uh, almost ready and uh, we're going to put some salt and some uh, little bit of black pepper on it, okay? And let's have this to fry up. I'm ready for a turn on the stove. There we go. And we're going to leave that for a few minutes. I'm also taking three cans of tuna fish. Uh, it's in water. It's 100 gram worth of drained mass. Looks like this. And I've got three of these here, okay? Three of these, and I'm going to drain them out. Okay, so apart from salt and ground black pepper that I put in on the onion, I am putting some thyme in. This much. And I am putting some basil in as well. And we're going to take out this amount. And let's move this around. This is what my pasta, my onion looks like right now. Sorry about the pasta. Okay, and uh, let's get that tuna fish inside. It's not drained completely, which is actually a good thing so that it leaves a little bit more taste of the tuna fish in there. And we're moving this around. We're checking on our pasta to make sure it doesn't go over 9 to 11 minutes boiling. 9, depending on your stove and the heat you're using, 9 to 11 minutes it's when the pasta will be al dente, which means it is ready. Okay, so let's leave this in here for a couple of minutes. Okay, so I had a, a third left uh, of tomato sauce in one pack here that I'm emptying out into the tuna fish and the onion, okay? And I'm taking yet another pack that I've got here. These are one kilo packs, okay? And I'm putting this inside. the walk here as well. Now we're going to move this around and we're going to leave it to boil for at least 8-10 minutes. And I'm going to come uh, comment on the fact that since the tomato sauce comes out of packages that's already had um, garlic and so forth added in on it, you don't need to add on any sugar to this. Uh, it doesn't come out that acid, okay? Uh, I'm not putting garlic in because the sauce already has the garlic inside it. But if you want more garlic taste, hey, by all means, put some garlic onto there. Okay, so here is my plate right now. 
and uh, I am going to put Parmesan cheese on top. Quite a bit of it. Parmesan cheese will make a difference to this kind of plate. And I'm also putting on some freshly cut up parsley. Okay, so this is my plate right now with tuna fish and pasta. Now, if you like what you've seen, uh, please give me that like, this one underneath. And uh, give me, leave me a comment, something that I can win an answer. It really helps me. And also, uh, please subscribe. Uh, either hit the picture of me that will pop up in the video here soon. Or hit the subscribe button that's underneath the video. Or the one that says subscribe throughout the video in the lower, uh, I believe it's right hand corner. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe leave your email and that's it i'll be seeing you next video you take care and enjoy your food bon appetit